So sorry my hair looks crazy. It's extremely humid in Li Shui right now as it's the changing of the seasons, which means constant rain or drizzling or misting. So I have given up on it. Hello everyone, this is Danny, and I am back for another video. Sorry I haven't really uploaded or you haven't seen my face because I was traveling and then the week after I got back, it was hectic. I was trying to get back into the swing of teaching. But I am back for another video. So today I want to talk about the five types of students you will meet as a foreign language teacher. Now there are obviously more types of students, but these are the first five you will notice. The first student is the excellent student. This student is essentially fluent in English. If they went to America or Britain or Australia, they would have no problems getting around essentially. The only thing they really have an issue with is less proper phrases and some slang. But other than that, they usually get everything. The second student is the excellent student. So this student is not terrible at speaking or listening or even writing. It's just there are many noticeable errors, usually in verb tenses. And that's pretty common in Chinese speakers who are learning English because Chinese has no different verb tenses. So the verb eat is always eat. There's no ate, eating, none of that. So verbs confuse them a lot when you have to change their tense. This student, however, gets really, really good grades on tests. So the students think they are great at English when really they're, they're okay. They're not the best. They're just good at taking tests, which is not a bad thing. However, they usually end up being given to the teacher as like a helper or someone they know. They usually want to talk to you, but it usually takes a long time. They're usually quite slow in speaking, so you have to be patient. But they are not as good as the teachers think they are. Third type is the great student in the lower level classes. This student usually has the best English you have heard, okay? They usually translate for the rest of their class. They're essentially fluent. I mean, you will be absolutely confused on why they're in that class. This kid is probably your most proficient English speaker out of all of them. They usually can pick up on new words by context clues, which a lot of students can't do here. So this is probably one of your best students you will have. Fourth is the student who knows nothing. This student can't even say hello to you. They know the word, but it's not the first thing that comes to mind when they see you. They will never try to talk to you. And you learn they need a translator, so usually you have a better student sit next to them, and you never call on them because you don't want to make it a joke. I mean, unless they're being terrible, there's no point in calling on this student because people will just laugh and that will not help the student's confidence. And Fifth, the student who will test your foreign language skill. This student will usually test you from something that is directly translated. So something from their native language into English. So there's a word in Chinese is a silang, which is colorful wolf directly translated. But in English, we would just call this a player or pervert. Not pervert in the sense that, oh, they're, they're creepy, but like someone who just has a lot of girlfriends. So they will directly translate it and then just look at you and say it. Okay. Sometimes it's to test the waters. Most of the times it's to make an inside joke within the class so that everyone can laugh. Usually what they translate is very cultural to them and really has no direct translation or meaning in an English speaking country. So if you have any comments or questions or anything you'd like to share, please leave it down below in a comment and I will see you later. Bye-bye.